Yes, good morning guys. Welcome to the 38th lecture of the science subject. So today is the last class of this week. Hope in yesterday's class uh, we got some basic information about human resource management, what is the basic principle of HRM and what HRM is doing in any firm or organization or industry. So, so you got a brief intro of this HRM in the last class. So in this class we'll discuss about the objectives and scope of HRM, how they are exploring in various fields, how they are organizing, how they are processing. So coming to the small scale industries, to the medium scale and the high level companies, HRM is a separate department where you are involving all types of human resources, starting from the security guard in front of a gate of a company to the top management shareholders. Everything is took after with this human resource management, right? Yes. So in this section, I've already said that you are having two things, two stages to discuss. First part is about the HRM, intro of HRM, and second part is about the marketing management. So we'll see these two things in this unit three. So in this HRM, you are having 20% uh, of problems as in the unit two also. So you are having the simple problems regarding with this wage payment plans, right? Yes. So in the last class, I've discussed about the college as an example, example for a college. So you don't have any HR department in your college. So the recruitment is done, is done generally by the principal or maybe the director or maybe the HODs of the department. So if you see in any industry, now your seniors have been completed the exam. So they are waiting or they are ready to do the job. So some of the students have called me, the fourth year students of mechanical and civil. So they are ready to work anywhere in Andhra or other places. So some were applying in the jobs and uh, some jobs been referred by me. So now they have started how the process is going on. Once you, up, once you send a resume, once you send a resume to any company, if you are shortlisted, these resumes will send to the human resource department. There, these people will collectively collect all the resumes, depends upon the vacancy in their office, they can say vacancy in their company, they will shortlist some people based upon their skills in the college level and they will ask, give the date for an interview. So the each human resource people will stand in the front face of any company and recruit the people according to their criteria. So which matches the top management things, right? So that's why, that's why today many experts claim that Machines and technology are replacing the human resource and minimizing the role of the people. Therefore, how it should be? Therefore, the reason of companies continuously being searching for what? Searching for talented and skilled people with a good qualification, thereby these people will control or maintain the latest machines and technology, which again give the control or monitored by the humans to bring out the products. So ultimately what you require? You require the output. Allowed the output, the output should be rigid. The output should be unique. So that's why in coming to the fourth year, coming to the fourth year, so if you do your mini project and major project with 100% effort, then automatically you can come to know what's happening in the outside market. So if you are doing a work without, with all inputs and doing the work hardly and sincerely you can complete a project then you can say so okay this is the project how i have started how i have completed right so in this way if if you go to any company and wait and uh, get ready for the any interview the first question is tell me about yourself so what will you tell so i have studied in so and so school i have graduated in so and so college so I am from so-and-so place, 
he will tell that those things so those things are already in the resume and what is the other things you have to tell so if you go to any interview if you go through any interview the first thing you have to say what is not there in the resume so in your resume lo edaitho which is not available information you those things you have to discuss in front of the hr people why because with that they will see your mannerisms how you are speaking right how you are conveying the information properly how confident you are at your strengths and weakness so like this they will calculate all these things and they will shortlist the people therefore the hr people are good at their level right so those who are pursuing those who are completed mba in hrm so in the top b schools in india and abroad so those who are completed the graduation and doing the pg the masters program for two years two years full time program so in the first year you can come across natural general business administration in the second year you have to choose the specialization that is if you are interested in finance you have to go for finance department finance section if you are interested in hr you have to go for human resource management if you are interested in marketing you have to select the marketing if you are interested in uh, foreign administration you have to go for foreign administration if you are interested in international business you have to choose international business like this in mba at the second year you have to opt in specialization so that in the specialization hrm is one one specialization and the main the hrm is one specialization so the human resource management is a process of managing the human resources not the things things ante vastulu kaadu process ni kaadu only human resources of an organization which in tune which tune with the vision of the top management so top management em em kaavalo right human resource దగ్గర ఏమేమి అవైలబిలిటీ ఉందో ఈ రెండు పీపుల్ ని మ్యాచ్ చేసుకుంటూ ట్యూన్ చేసుకుంటూ ముందుకు పోయే వాళ్ళని వి ఆర్ కాలింగ్ దమ్ యాజ్ అ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ రిక్రూటింగ్ ద పీపుల్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ ప్రాసెస్ ఆఫ్ రిక్రూటింగ్ అండ్ సెలెక్టింగ్ ద ఎంప్లాయీస్ ప్రొవైడింగ్ సి కీప్ ఇన్ మైండ్ ఎంప్లాయీ మీన్స్ ద పర్సన్ who is working in any firm employer means the person who is giving a job for example i am working in a college so who is employee myself the faculties or employees the chairman is a employer he is providing the job the faculties the hod the drivers right so if you take our college if you take our college example starting from a security guard starting from a drivers not teaching faculty teaching faculty hods director your other things right so your ias all are the employees for a firm who is a employer the chairman or board of directors of the employers right so it is a process of recruiting and selecting the employee providing orientation and induction training and development assessment of employee providing compensation and benefits motivating maintaining proper relations with the employees and with the trade unions maintaining the employee safety welfare and healthy measures in compliance with the labor laws of the land so hrm chadive vallu you have to understand the labor laws also industrial relations also right so it is a process of what recruiting the people selecting the people and selecting the employees providing what once you got selected once you got a job in any company so they will give some orientation program and the induction program what is the meaning of induction program means so before joining into the actual field so they will keep for one week or three days incubation period and that is nothing but a induction period so they will cure they will see they will give the information this is this are the policies of my company right so these are the policies you have to this is the timings of our company so this is the things you have to do in the company right so this are the outputs you have to provide so you have to mingle with all the people so you, you have every weekend you having a meeting you have to do something you have to see something you have to work something so like this they will give some induction or orientation program and training and development so if you got a job in a company so in that factory if you are working in a quality control system quality control yeah. 
the the information and training about the, what is the meaning of quality, what is you have to do in the quality section, how to qualify, how to check the material, training and development, it may be six months or it may be six weeks or it may be one month, depends upon the size of the factory. Once the training and development is done, once you uh, directly entered into the job in the factory area and doing the work for three months or four months, next they will go for assessment, assessment of the employee performance of appraisal under them. Assessment means once you doing the work for six months or one year, so after one year, they will go for assessment sheet. So they will give assessment sheet and they will ask to fill the, all the details. So E one year low, we end so. So what you gained, so what is the professionalism you got, right? So what are the applause and the money they get, your work is good and cheaper, right? So how much applause you got? How much information you got? So what are the, Additional things you have got from our company. So based upon that appraisal, you your job promotions, you will get your promotions, or you will increase your salaries, you will increase other benefits like that, right? So providing compensation and benefits. So automatically, once the appraisal form is filled and you got selected in that, 30% salary increase as the move. Then we go cell phone facility provide just cell phone bills main page as the move, or else your petrol bill or whatever the transportation bills, bus bills, we can provide. So these are the benefits and motivating this. So why if they are providing this one in order to motivate the employee so that whatever the sharp worker, whatever the positive worker, if you are providing the benefits, he will do some more extra to our company. Like that they will motivate. And maintaining proper relations with the employees. How he is maintaining with the co-workers positive and negative and with trade unions so you are having a unions trade union in old movies like you say on television movies or old movies in a big in every company or something you are having but this is a hero hero will be the union leader for any companies like this maintaining the employee safety and welfare and healthy measures in compliance with the labor laws of the land so this all together is nothing but the human resource management then why the name human resource management has came into existence. Allow human resource management. If you see the first one, human. Human refers to the skilled workforce in the organization. So humans means it may be the men or a woman, right? Men or a woman refers to the skilled workforce. Just to humans and they just took a physical report. That person should have skilled workforce. So that person should have some skill so that he should show the skill in front of the people or in front of the services. That is nothing but human. Next one. Resource. What is the meaning of resource? It refers to the limited availability or scarceness. So resources, you take a simple example. A person is a super carpenter. Or a person is a good goldsmith. And a bangar panjastar. So carpenter ki yanta skill unna goda resources unte resources like a pote can he do the work no he cannot do the work proper tools unte of a carpenter ki proper tools unte excellent ago a moment they are resisted right or wrong so athaniki yanta experience unna if the resources is not there if the resources is not there then what he will do this human will sit idle and they work a chapter when at the chase and it is jason or it is an education chapter that day he cannot do. Why? Why? Because the resources availability unda leda scarce lo unnaya correcta unnaya. These things we will see. That is a resource. The resources may be the money. The resources may be the tools, machinery, etc. Next one, management refers to how to optimize and make best use of such limited and scarce resources to as to meet the audit ordination goals and objectives. So what is the management is saying here? So, humans work here, workers work here, once experienced workers, extra resources work here. Directly we cannot do, go for the work. So we have to, we have to manage it. For example, okay, for example, your civil engineer is covered. We'll, I'll give a civil example. You are doing any contract work for a building or you are doing any interiors for an apartment. Then, so you are having a labor. Make a team, on the 10 people team. Make resources, machinery, tools, 
everything material is available then management so how best you are doing with available material so meer oka interior designer anukundam meekinda rendu teams unnai hyderabad lo work chestunnaru guntur lo work chestunnaru right interior chestunna so meeku iddaru teams unna kuda if the resources are abundant baaga unnai anukundam availability lo unnai lent scale whatever it may be so management how you are managing the human how you are managing the human how you are managing the resources so humans ikkada 10 mandi unnapudu ikkada maniki 1000 rupees ni 1000 rupees ni so with respect to the 10 people meer ela maintain chestunnaru and also you have to get, the management should get profit so ivanni maintain cheyadaniki we require some management means how you are optimizing enta correct ga meer అవైలబిలిటీ లో ఉన్న సోర్స్ ని ఎంత కరెక్ట్ గా వాడుతున్నారు తక్కువ వాడుతున్నారా ఎక్కువ వాడుతున్నారా కరెక్ట్ గా వాడుతున్నారా దిస్ గివ్స్ ద మేనేజ్మెంట్ స్కిల్స్ రైట్ ఆప్టిమైజింగ్ అండ్ మేకింగ్ ద బెస్ట్ యూస్ ఆఫ్ సచ్ లిమిటెడ్ తక్కువగా ఉన్నవి స్కేర్స్ గా ఉన్న రిసోర్సెస్ ని మాక్సిమం మన కంపెనీకి గోల్స్ అండ్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ కి మీట్ అయ్యేట్టుగా హౌ యూఆర్ డూయింగ్ ద వర్క్ దట్ ఈస్ నథింగ్ బట్ ద మేనేజ్మెంట్ దేర్ ఫోర్ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ యూ గాట్ ది ఇన్ఫర్మేషన్ రైట్ క్లియర్ గా మీకు ఐడియా వచ్చిందా వాట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ వాట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ రిసోర్స్ వాట్ ద మీనింగ్ ఆఫ్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ ఈ మూడుతోనే ఎవ్రీథింగ్ బయట మీకు కనబడేదంతా ఇదే జరుగుతా ఉంటుంది నెక్స్ట్ ద డిఫరెంట్ ఫిలాసఫర్స్ హావ్ గివెన్ డిఫరెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ మీనింగ్స్ ఫర్ హెచ్ఆర్ సో మీరు హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ టాపిక్ అయిన తర్వాత యూ కెన్ గివ్ యువర్ ఓన్ డెఫినేషన్ రైట్ నెక్స్ట్ మెనీ గ్రేట్ స్కాలర్స్ అండ్ హ్యావ్ డిఫైన్ హ్యూమన్ రిసోర్స్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ డిఫరెంట్ వేస్ the different words but the common meaning of the human resource management is deals with how to manage the people or employees in the organization so for example if you know the name pro pro and pair ekkada vekkana vinnara meeru anyone in the group just chat with me or just unlock your mic pro anyone 3046 nayaka Pradeep, Shiva, today no girls in this class, sir. Okay. So, heard the word P-R-O? No? Yes. Anyone? What is the meaning of P-R-O? No reply from your side. Okay. P-R-O means public relations officer pro means public relations officer so pro acts as an excellent person who is making bonding between different different stages of people right or wrong right so this pro if you see in any movie if you see any movie in the top titles and subtitles pro ani oka department unta so without pro you cannot do anything even though you are having a money you are even though you are having a uh, characters to do without proper pro you cannot do anything so pro gives a very big scope in any organization in any thing to do so it deals with how to manage the people and our employees in the organization right now the scientist the philosopher edwin flipo defines HRM is as planning, organizing, directing, controlling and controlling of procurement, development, compensation, integration, maintenance and separation of human resources to the end that individual organization and social objectives are achieved. So, we have individual objectives, organization objectives, social objectives to achieve achieved. Whatever the things like planning, coordinating controlling directing right compensating integrating so this all together integrates to form a human resource management so edwin flipo has given this type of definition simple definition in jeppu kochu hr means nothing but the meaning of hr means nothing but the deal dealing of how the people to manage or employees in organization simple in detail i jeppu kovalante planning organizing yanni meer already unit 1 lo nerchukunna p o s t c o r b right p o s d c o r b keep this thing in mind p o s d p o means planning organization yes staffing d directing c controlling o organizing r rating b uh, p o s d c o r b budgeting 
reporting and budgeting right next the other uh, given by nipm the national institute of personal management of india has defined the human resource management as the part of management which is concerned with people at work and with their relationship with an enterprise so workplace lo people ki enterprise level lo people ki ee rendu madhyalo jarige relation is nothing but hr man cheptunnaru right its aim is to bring together and develop into an effective organization of men and women who make up enterprise and have having regard for the well being of individuals and working groups to enable them to make the best contribution to the success so finally what we require even though we have the human even though we have the labor even though you have the resources to do if you are doing optimistically automatically success comes to you so if you are not doing in a proper way managing in a proper way everything goes in a vain understood like this you have to optimize the works and you have to do the process next one so what does this hrm includes in hrm lo em em include avutunnayi right first one is conducting the job analysis conducting the job analysis so first you have to go for the job analysis what type of job you are having in the company how you are analyzing the job that is the first duty of the hr people hr manager second one planning personal needs and recruitment so what are the personal needs you require to satisfy the company needs and how you are doing the recruitment process the recruitment process is manually you are doing the recruitment process you are doing uh, automatically through the internet or through phone so how you are doing the recruitment process that is a thing you have to discuss in the second stage next third stage selecting the right people for a job so once you got select once you got the recruitment panel once you got recruitment panel once you got the uh, users once you got the people for recruitment so you have to select the right people for the job so how you are selecting the right people for the job based upon their skills and strategy based upon their skills and attitude and their soft skills and their communication skills you have to select the right people for the right job that is also a major duty for the hr people right next orientate orienting and training so once the recruitment is done you have to you have to go for proper orientation incubation and training for the personal next determining and managing the wages and salaries so before getting into job you should not get you should not get compromised right means so you have to discuss about the wages and salaries so you have to discuss about the wages and salaries so how much salary did i get how much salary did you code for this job so what are the wage benefits i am getting next providing benefits and incentives apart from the salaries what are the other incentives you are providing means for example college mere college lo join ayyar bus facilities unda leda unte bus facilities lo what are the concession you are giving next canteen unda leda canteen lo unte what is the concession you are giving if i take a canteen card so manaki canteen facilities unte if i take a yearly card or a six months card or monthly card as i am getting a benefit or not so manaki normally 60 rupees bhojanam unde man nen monthly card isukunte na 50 rupees isthara ivara that is also one type of things you have to go with the hr next appraising performance so based upon your based upon your uh, work nature your workmanship your uh, experience your attitude with other people they will go for the appraising of this your performance also next resolving the disputes so if there is any disputes in a company or in any union or in any factory area so you have to go for the disputes also he resolving disputes gurinchi meeku chaala movies kuda vachayi right so hero vastadu company lo problems untayi company lo problems unnapudu hero ane person vachi company lo problems resolve chesi he will ask for some other share or some other percentage there is also things already have seen in many movies next communicating with all employees at all the level so hr people and ngi all hr people should not be sit idle job ayipindi recruitment isukunnamu job people vacharu work chestunnaru so tarvata em cheyali so they should not sit idle they should monitor and they should communicate 
to all the employees at all levels anni levels lo unna udyogasthulni hr people should communicate in some way either by phone call either by mail either by whatsapp either by physically interviewing personally or going to the site area and select and asking so like this the hr people should communicate with all the employees at all the levels in proper way next maintaining awareness of and compliance with the local state federal labor laws so you have to get the awareness you have to maintain some awareness and other programs which are related to the labor laws right which are related to the labor laws why because every year budget is changing process is changing technology is changing so is there any changes in the labor laws either good or bad right you have to go through those type of things also means hr manager should be aware of current things that's happening in the market for the world 11 these are also called as functions of human resource management for the purpose of affect you utilization of human resource so we can call this the what of the include this or we, we call this all 10 things as the major functions of human resource management system right coming to the objectives of hrm so what are the main objectives to be discussed thereby the hr the hr management gives a complete picture then the first objective is societal societal objectives societal means the things related to society to be socially responsible social guy should be responsible to the needs and challenges of society while minimizing the negative impact of such demands on the organization so what the first thing you need to be socially responsible to the needs and challenges of the society society lo changes em jarugutunnayo society em adugutundi society what are the challenges they are facing it should be responsible while minimizing the negative impact of such demand so whenever you are going forward we should we should compensate or we should ignore the negative comments or negative things that are happening in the society whenever you are responsible to some situation right the failure of organizations to use their resources for societal benefit may result in restrictions for example societies may pass laws that limit human resource decisions so your current systems lo current manaki bayar chustunna things lo cheppedo okati chesedo okati right the politicians are saying something doing something so everything you can see everywhere you are seeing the flaws everywhere you are seeing the injustice everywhere everywhere you can see the injustice why you are seeing injustice so whatever the rules they are laying whatever the rules they are laying this those are not matching with the real time systems so that's why a social objective means you should be responsible one should be responsible even though you are working in any factory or a organization you should be responsible for some sort of things that which are happening in the society next second one is organizational objectives second one is a organizational objectives so to recognize that hrm exists to contribute to the organizational effectiveness so what is the thing is saying to recognize that hrm exists to contribute to the organizational effectiveness hrm is not an end in itself is not an end in itself it is only the means to assist the organization with primary objectives so a organization ki ఒక గేట్ ఓపెన్ చేయడానికి మాత్రమే హెచ్ఆర్ విల్ బి దేర్ సో ఇట్ షుడ్ బి ఆర్గనైజేషనల్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్ సో ఇట్ షుడ్ నాట్ ఎ సపరేట్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ రైట్ సింప్లీ స్టేటెడ్ దాట్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఎగ్జిస్ట్ టు సర్వ్ ద రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ అకార్డెడ్ సో దీస్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ యూజ్ టు సర్వ్ ద రెస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఇన్ ఎ ప్రాపర్ వే నెక్స్ట్ థర్డ్ వన్ ఈస్ ఫంక్షనల్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఫంక్షనల్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ to maintain the department's contribution at a level appropriate to the organization needs so whatever the organization is laying so hr is a common word that they are using in all departments but depends upon the organization strategy organization uh, philosophy organization awareness hr people has to react right the resources are wasted when hr m is more or less sophisticated than organization demands so eppudaithe eppudaithe hrm is more or less sophisticated than organization demands 
రిసోర్సెస్ అనేది వేస్ట్ అవుతుంది సో ఆర్గనైజేషన్ బిఫోర్ రిక్రూటింగ్ ఎనీ పీపుల్ ఇన్ ఎన్ ఆర్గనైజేషన్ ఆర్ ఎఫ్ ద టాప్ లెవెల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ విల్ గివ్ సమ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ టు ద హెచ్ఆర్ పీపుల్ రైట్ సో ద టాప్ లెవెల్ మేనేజ్మెంట్ విల్ గివ్ సమ్ ఇన్స్ట్రక్షన్స్ సో బికాస్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ పాండమిక్ సో ఇన్ దిస్ కరెంట్ సిచ్యువేషన్ సో వీ కెన్ నాట్ పే హ్యూజ్ శాలరీస్ సో దే విల్ గివ్ దే విల్ ఆస్క్ దోస్ పీపుల్ టు రెడ్యూస్ ద అమౌంట్ అండ్ టేక్ ద పీపుల్ now if you see the best example so because of this pandemic covid effect so outside if you see the employees are keep on reducing so the job the percentage of job is keep on reducing why because of this pandemic situation so today not if we take a live example your seniors those who have written just few one week two weeks back your exam those who have written the exams fourth year exams they are ready to do the job any place at any time so they are ready to do the job with any salary with at any place why because they have already lost 4 months or 5 months right so now the short now there is a huge demand there, there there is a huge need of work there is huge need of human resource how to manage this human resource this is a big task means here the hr people should should be should act as a bridge between the top management and the recruiting level so they should act as a positive thing positive medium between the top management and as well as the employees recruiters recruiting people why because so whenever you are not in demand with the hr if organization demand with the hr the resources will automatically get wasted a department's level of service must be appropriate for the organizations it serves so what it is saying whatever the department's level of service must be appropriate for the organization what it is serving right next next one is fourth one is a personal objectives so to assist the employees in achieving their personal goals at least in so far as these goals enhance the individual contribution to the organization so if you see in some companies some uh, navratna based companies or in some private companies also so those who are completed the graduation and got job in the company working for 3 years or 4 years and the employee has an interest to study the further pg programs ante oka btech level lo meek job vachi oka 1 2 years work chesin tarvata namakam vachin tarvata if you want to study the higher studies mba mtech or some other studies these companies whatever the company you are working these people will provide the money these people will provide the money and let you to do the studies also so they will give money to your higher studies even though you are working at your company and they were they are having a slot that my person my employees wants to study higher education we are providing the money to the college so that these people will get study so like that type of situations are also arise in some set of big companies so personal objectives of employees must be met if the workers are maintained retained and motivated otherwise employee performance and satisfaction may decline and employees may leave the organization so if you are not meeting so miru hr as a hr manager if you are not giving proper information to the recruiting people once they got recruited so if the top management is not properly maintaining the vision and goals automatically the employees will leave the organization so automatically em jarugutundi the company anedi decline jarugutundi so company anedi decline jarugutundi and also the employees will leave the organization why because hr people are they, they didn't kept the promise right or wrong so meeku job chase chase job raaka mundu interview lo aa company adi idi adi chestha meeku chestha nammichi meeku job ichin tarvata once you are not satisfied with those thing automatically the employee has a right to leave the organization that's why konni companies konni schools colleges em chestunnaru faculties ni gaani other school teachers ni gaani other things ni gaani they will hold their certificates they will demand so ma three months salary pages vellandi ledante mee certificates ikkada hold lo untundi and then you have to work for still for three months freely and you have to get your certificates so like this you are having some sort of threatening in some organizations right next next 
nature of hrm so what will be the nature of the hr so manam planning gurunchi organizing gurunchi directing gurunchi controlling gurunchi unit 1 lo discuss chestunnamu i will not discuss these things once again waste of time but keep these things in mind so what is the nature it involves a procurement it involves a development it involves a maintenance of human resource so manam vastuvulni ela kontunnamo ni supermarket gaani oka industry gaani oka vendor degar nunchi human laborers and labor means the people educated laborers or uneducated laborers whatever it may be procurement of people and the peoples manam konukuntunnam double ichi development of people so the we are developing the people by giving the job that is the nature of the hr next nature enti it helps the achieving individual organizational social objectives so organization ki oka objective untu dani manam crt and we are calling them as a uh, separate your separate word means for example in this covid pandemic situation alliance industries konni vandala kotlu society ki ichindi right your uh, jindal steels or your ajit prem ji your wipro your infosys your ibm your uh, other factories hcl your nestle your other things starting lo manaki march i think march april aa time lo pula chaala mandi funding chesa prime minister funding gaani other funding so that is what that is nothing but social societal objectives so e time in that situations it helps to achieve the individual and the organization and social objectives next human resource management is a multidisciplinary subject it is not a simple subject it's not a single subject it is a multilingual subject so ipudu meeru konni movies chustaru that is not only related to only one language pan india movies antaru so five languages lo manaki open ai movies so in the same way hr is a multidisciplinary subject it includes the study of management it includes the study of psychology it includes the study of communication and economics and sociology so management gurinchi chadukuntunnam psychology human psychology what short temper vada ledante cool person ledante different sort of mind so work cheyagaltada work cheyaleda active person poor person average person we have to, have to take all the things into consideration next communication next economics and the money and sociology how will you are with the social social ga nuvu ela work chestunnao next it involves the team spirit and team work it involves the team spirit and team work simple example meeru telugu movies lo chaala chuse untaru hero edo cheyadam ani people ni elevate chesi team spirit chesi team work tho chestunnaru that is nothing but team spirit and it is a continuous process so the human resource management nature is continuous process anamata continuous process ni manamu japan japanese language so we are calling them as a kaizen kanban and kaizen so there is a technical words used for in the japanese management kanzan and kaizen continuous process edi manaki end undadu edo oti continue chestune undali can we have to continue the process in some way okay with this i will stop the class why because the time is very less than 1 minute so your no screenshot this petkondi so once this class is uploaded uh, this video is uploaded in the youtube i will send this link to your whatsapp group so that you can watch the those who are not in the class just forward this link to those people also so screenshot this petkondi meeku ppt lo you are having a date also uh, october 3rd so thanks for listening the session have a nice day have a nice sunday so we'll meet in the monday's class